Hey everyone, Carl with back with Ludovic Lessons, uh, here bringing you uh, a new team from Adam Sands Taco, uh, member of ATX Discord, and our newest addition to one of our draft leagues. Uh, this is their, apparently, Players Cup Z3 uh, team. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure how accurate that is, but uh, they took this one to a decent Master Ball ranking, um, I believe... Pretty quickly after the season reset in the beginning of January. So I figured Carter's got a team lined up for next week. I'm going to try and knock as many of these out as I possibly can this week then. Because we've got a backlog and I want to feature as many teams as possible before the start of Players Cup 3. Um, make sure you hit the subscribe button and uh, question of the day. Um, I want to know... What's your favorite weather? Weather is. Um, I have a big fan. I'm a big fan of rain. This team features Tyranitar with sand. Um, I know a lot of GS Cup is going to be likely dominated by Groudon, which is that sun. Hail is very underutilized because they've made hail really weak compared to the other ones, but it still has a niche purpose. So I'd like to know what your favorite weather is, and probably your favorite weather setter. Um, going through this team here, uh, we have. Cartana, which pairs well with Titar. Uh, Cartana, no, they both technically have a fighting weakness, uh, but Cartana is usually faster. Uh, not having Aerial Ace on this Cartana for max airstreams means we probably won't be Dynamaxing this thing as often. Um, Leaf Blade, Smart Strike, Sacred Sword are all great coverage moves. Um, having the Focus Sash here means that we'll be able to at least live one hit as well, and then probably take something out afterwards, uh, picking up a lot of revenge kills with it. Um, the T-Tar here looks like pretty state of weakness policy T-Tar. Rock Slide, Lash Out, superpower to fight other opposing T-Tars, um, other Steel types, other normal types, things like that, uh, and Protect. Uh, Amoongus here with Regenerator and Cobo Berry. Uh, this is very reminiscent of Amoongus's from Series 5. Uh, Rage Powder, Spore, Protect, and instead of having like a Pollen Puff or something like that, we have Sludge Bomb in this slot to take care of Tapu Fini, Tapu Coco, all those other fairy types that might be a problem. Uh, Rodom, Rodom Heat, uh, pretty standard except for this ally switch. Uh, having ally switch on a team, uh, actually, I personally don't hate ally switch. Uh, just don't sit there and spam it all the time. Um, people that just sit there and spam it get on my nerves, but proper ally switches, like using them effectively, can actually just like make or break games. Um, it helps put decision-making back in your court. It can help gain you momentum. It's about as good as swapping in on a ground-type move with a flying-type or an electric move, a ground-type for an electric move, and things like that. It just brings momentum back into your favor, and it lets you set up for more powerful things. Um, Kumfei here also has Ally Switch, also such Trick Room, for which I'm assuming our T-Tar is Min Speed, if we have a Trick Room. Uh, could also just be used to reset Trick Room. Uh, floral healing here to keep our guys healthy and draining kiss for priority. I wonder if this draining kiss will Oko banded Urshifu. It might it might be set up to Oko banded Urshifu. Um, and the last slot here is Spectre. Uh, this is a Pokemon I have been testing a ton with for uh, PC3. Uh, Shadow Ball, Hyper Beam, Mudshot, Protect. I have been pairing it with Fake Tears. Um, it looks like we're not really pairing it with anything on this team. It's more just like I'm a big scary threat. You have to deal with me kind of situation. Um, Shadow Ball and Hyper Beam on this thing after a plus one are it it Oko's a lot of Pokemon that it probably shouldn't Oko with them. Uh, and Mudshot here uh, is to probably just pick up KOs on Colossal. We don't have a terrible time with Colossal with Superpower and Sacred Sword and having Rotom Heat here to kind of absorb some hits. Um, but having Mudshot, I believe there's my Spectre set I was working on can Oko with Mudshot as long as we can outspeed and survive a hit, which we survive a hit most of the time at plus two from a coal. So have, being able to just pick up the Oko with a max quake on it a lot of the time is good enough. So yeah, we're going to jump into some games here and see how this all works out. Uh, I have high hopes for this team uh, after the Swampert team kind of fell flat. It had a real big weakness to Rillaboom. Um, this one has a real big weakness to Thunderous, <laughs> which is funny. Like Thunderous... Uh, Walls Rotom, beats up Titar, beats up Kartana, hits Amoongus super effectively, doesn't care about Comfey, and Spectre will drop its stats 
with any of its moves that aren't mud shot <laughs> because you can't hit it with mud shot. So you get defiant boost. So thunderous is kind of scary. Um, a proper switch in for thunderous means that it just can set up and then pick up a KO or two after after that, and we're just behind. Um, so we'll hopefully not run into too many thunderouses on the ladder. It might be okay. Thunderous is thunderous defiant. Thunderous has been ticking down here lately. But yeah, we'll get into some games here and make sure you answer the question today. Subscribe. All that fun stuff, and we'll be back with game one. All right, we have got goodness. This is a uh, this is a fitting team. Uh, Greedent <laughs> uh, is it's funny because um, I believe it's Adam who really likes Greedent. I believe it's him. I can't remember who the creator of this team really, really, really likes Greedent. So the fact that I'm up against Greedent game one is kind of hilarious. Uh, this seems to be like simple boosts. Latios, I like. I know it for one thing, and it's for using simple beam on things. Um, I'm not sure what Audino does. I'm not sure what Greedent does here. Uh, Sylveon, Togekiss, Grimmsnarl are all Pokemon that I'm well aware of what they could probably do. So I think the goal is to just blow people up. There's no Tailwind on the team. So I think this is the lead I want. And then I think I want Kartana and Titar. Rotom doesn't hit anything super effectively. Titar and Spectre deal with Latios. Tyranitar Kartana hit Aldino. Um, Kartana hits Grimmsnarl. Togekiss. Yeah, I think this is what we want. This is a weird team. It's got a lot of fighting and steel weaknesses, which is what Kartana and Titar are set up to do. Um, but then there's that Latios. I'm just trying to figure out what it does. So I'm just going to lead Spectre to hopefully be able to pick up a KO pretty quickly with it. I'm interested to see what this team does. So we got Latios, Grimmsnarl. This is the event of Moongus, I believe. Yes, it is. Okay. So I think I just want a sludge bomb and do I Dynamax Spectre? I think I Dynamax Spectre. Try to pick up a KO here. The other option is to redirect everything away from Spectrier with Rage Powder and then Shadow Ball Latios. Hope it's not a policy. I wouldn't imagine... If they're going to Dynamax Latios. Could be Max Grimmsnarl. Could be G-Max Grimmsnarl. That is an option. I've just seen that tick up as an option here lately. But no, it is Latios. Um, I am afraid of a weakness policy here. But uh, Amoongus is bulky. It's going to tank whatever hit comes its way. <laughs> going to Rage Powder. Ah, they were expecting me to Dynamax. Okay. Yeah, they are expecting me to Dynamax. Oh, goodness. Please don't be policy. Dang it! <laughs> uh, the good news here is I'm going to uh, be able to pick up this Latios next turn. So their trick has just become useless now. Like, they tricked, they got a Koba Berry. Um, so now, now that I see that, I think I just... Um, This might actually be a big Kartana game. I think I, uh, yeah, I think we bring in Titar. Let's 
they expected to Dynamax and actually do something, and we accurately, we, we pretty quickly took care of that. Um, I expect them to try and steal my life orb and focus down Spectre because they can't really hit Titar with Max Mindstorm. Max Wormwind doesn't do enough to take it out. So, yeah. This will also give us a Lash Out boost if they Max Wormwind. Oh, okay. So we'll see what they bring in here. If it is... Audino. Okay. Audino's going to eat a Lash Out. Audino tanks this pretty well, probably. There, I set up Reflect. Okay. That's actually pretty decent damage to reflect. That is a lot more than I thought it was going to. <laughs> uh, they probably were expecting me to shadow ball into that slot, which I'm not. I'm not that dumb. I'm not that dumb. Um, I will superpower into that slot to help take that out. And I think I hyperbeam Grim Snarl. It's going to set up light screen here. Do I want to hyperbeam that slot? Not really. I believe Audino gets ally switch. I need to be careful. Um, I think we just rock slide and mud shot. That could be the most damage. Yeah, because they're just going to set up light screen. Like, there's no point in trying to hyper beam and pick up a KO here. We're not quite at that range yet. But I do want to get some uh, damage done on this Grim Snarl. We're going to Rock Slide here. The other option is the Heal Pulse Aldino. We're hoping for a flinch here. Trick Room. So that's going to reverse the speeds. That is actually fine. I believe Titar is min speed. Yep. Yep. This is fine. Um, Let me see here. Are we min speed Titar? We're not going to be slower than Audina, but we... 72... Yeah, we're min speed. We're, we're, we're an attempt to be as slow as possible. Um, I believe min speed is... Lo less than 72, but we're, we're, we're slow. I think I'm just going to keep clicking Rock Slide. And I'm going to... Protect the Spectre this turn. Out comes Grim, in comes whatever this is, the Greeted. So it looks like we're going to try and probably Belly Drum. Going to Life Dew to heal up the Audino. We are slowly stalling out their Dynamax here, but uh, the dy stalling out their Trick Room. The Trick Room has three turns left. This is the Belly Drum turn. So I believe it is effective to just double into Spectria here. Uh, double into Greedon here. Yeah. They're going to go down to below half, use their Cheek Pouch to go to full, and then we're going to Superpower. Oh, there's the Heal Pulse. Okay. So that means they're not Barry. That means this thing's dead. This should die here. Yep. Yeah. Like, okay, you, you did your thing. Cool. <laughs> you got the belly drum off. That's whatever at this point. Uh, Spectre's not going to be able to attack next turn, which is fine. This Audino's not doing anything. Um, they've got two turns of Trick Room left. The Psychic Terrain's gone. They have a Grim Snarl that's doing nothing now. It literally does nothing. And a, Latia, a Latios, which there's the Latios. Latios goes down to sand.
I think we just hit this slot. I think we just superpower the Adino slot. Yeah, battle's canceled. Navigated that pretty well, I feel like. Um, not sure what I could have done better to save Amoongus there. Um, there probably wasn't a lot, really. Amoongus was going to go down. The option would have been to swap it out for T-Tar, expecting the max... Um, Expecting the Max Mindstorm, but then we would have lost our Life Orb on our Spectrier, and we would have tamed a Lagging Tail, which I think having the Lagging Tail just disappear with the Amoongus when it dies is actually better than keeping the Amoongus around and losing Life Orb. Um, but yeah, that was a good first game with this team. Um, moving on to the next one. All right, Tenoma. Mindfu, Garbodor. That's, the, that's a Pokemon you don't see ever. Volcarona, Corviknight, Azumarill, and Grimmsnarl. So, I know what Mindku does. It is fake out coaching fast stuff. Um, Grimmsnarl's priority screens trick, like we saw in the last game. Things like that. Uh, Azumarill can do Sing, Parish Song, Aqua Jet for a policy trigger, specifically on the Volcarona, if, we wanted, if they were doing something like that. Um... Corviknight is Corviknight. Uh, that means I need Rodom. I have to have Rodom on the back to deal with Corviknight for sure. So I think what we lead here... Their lead is likely Azumarill Volcarona. So I think we lead T-Tar and Amoongus. Bring Rodom in the back for Corviknight. And... Spectrier can switch in from a close combat from Mindfu if that becomes a problem. Comfy can also proc Tyranitar's weakness policy, but Mindfu is definitely an issue. Yeah, I'm not worried about proccing Tyranitar's weakness policy here. Um, they could probably proc it for me pretty easily with all the extra stuff they have. I don't know if my opponent got their team submitted in time. If this is Mindfu plus um, whatever the other lead was. Mindfu, uh, I'm blanking now. I just said it, too. If it's the Mindfu plus whatever, it's they didn't get their selection in time. Yeah, Mindshow and Garbodor. Yeah, I don't think they got their selection in. So, I think I'm going to Spore there, and I'm just going to swap into Spectre. I don't want T. I don't want to Dynamax immediately here. If they, I just want to see if they Dynamax Carbador. I'm a Spore, and I'm expecting a D Max Carbador here, or or a G Max Carbador actually. I would like to see it. If they do that, then I am definitely in the driver's seat. Withdraws the Garbodor. Okay. Brings out the Azumarill. We're going to swap Titar out for Spectrier here. I'm going to fake out that one. Okay, that's fine. Why'd you swap into Azumarill if you were expecting a grass move or Sap Zipper? Like, I would have faked out the T-Tar slot. Uh, this is definitely... Do they have anything that can deal with this uh, Spectre at all? Grimmsnarl, which they have in the back. If that's if this is the four that they didn't get their team locked in, they have Grimstar on the back. I think Dynamaxing here is fine, and going Max Strike into Mineshaw. Am I afraid? I'm afraid of this Mineshaw. Mineshaw deals with Titar really well. I need this Mineshaw gone. Plus, this, if they swap into Grimstar, Grimstar just eats the max strike and then goes down to sand, probably. So this is like 
not a resisted hit, plus lowering everything's speed on the field. Um, notably, Azumarill min speed isn't that far off from Amoongus min speed. So they didn't swap. So this this thing goes down. Yeah, this is it's like this doesn't survive the max strike at all. <laughs> uh, we get we get a plus one there, so Grimmsnarl uh, Grim is the only other option they have to swap in on this thing, and probably with it has a dark move, that'd be what you want. Brutal swing. That's not gonna do a lot. I'm interested in what you're doing with that. Sludge bomb, gonna deal a chunk. Uh, it is in range to go down to uh, Amoongus next turn. Uh, notable fact, I think at minus two will be faster than this, than this Azumarill with Amoongus. Min speed Azumarill is like 52 or 53 or something like that. And then half of it. Yeah. Yeah, it would be like, would be like they'd be like 26. They'd be below 30 if they're, if they're min speed. There's the Grim Snarl. Um, I'm going to just pick up this KO here, and we're going to keep attacking this like we are. We're at plus one with Life Orb. This is a max strike 150. It may not be stab, but this will still hurt. Uh, if they die to max, the Grim Star will survive. But I don't think Grim Star is taking out Spectre anytime soon unless it has, like, Darkest Lariat. He switched items with the Amoongus. Is he expecting to survive? Because he's going to be slower than Amoongus now. <laughs> if this is min speed Azumarill, then it doesn't... Like, if you're full bulk investment on Azumarill or full attack investment on Azumarill, you're not surviving. Oh, okay. Why? Why? They must have misclicked. They must have not realized what they've done. Because... Now it's whatever. This is this is game over. It's it's a two v four. It's a one v four now. I have one more turn of Dynamax. They can Dynamax, but I also am just like going to click Rage Powder and Max Strike again, and the uh, Garbodor is going to go down here in like two hits. Like, this Garbodor doesn't survive. You can Dynamax it all you want. I'm faster. I'm going to Mudshot. I'm going to Max Quake you, which I'm at plus two with Life Orb. It'll deal a decent chunk. I don't know if it'll KO, because it is kind of just like middle of the road bulk. If it's got like an AV on it, it'll be a problem. It won't probably KO if it's got AV, but we also just clicked Spore. It is Max Guard. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Like, this game is super over. My opponent is just dragging it out. They have one Pokemon, and I have four Pokemon. We're just going to go for the same stuff. Um, I think Hyper Beam is actually the stronger move now. Shadow Ball is 120. Hyper Beam is 150. Mud Shot is 110. I think Shadow, I think Hyper Beam is still the strongest move. I think Hyper Beam is still the strongest move at plus two. Yeah, it is. Deal. <laughs> I'll bring back out Titar. This is fine. 
I'm not gonna lie, I don't even know what Malodor does. Oh, it poisons you, okay. Night, night. Good night. Sandstorm is done. We can just pick up the KO here. So it looks like their team was set up to be just like this stall, annoying, like poison everything and stall out the game kind of thing. Which is whatever. That looks to be what their team was doing. It's just like, I'm going to poison everything with Malodor. I'm going to swap your team out. I have Eject Button and Red Card and things like that. I'm going to set a Trick Room. But they just didn't get their team locked in. Deal. Sure. Oh no, Aftermath. <laughs> yep. The Wonders of Great Baller. The teams you find on Great Ball, like, like this is this is what you find on Great Ball. This is like or Great Ball Nine. After after last week's laddering, we didn't get up into Ultra Ball, but we're in like Great Ball Nine now. Uh, if they share the team, I want to look at this. Yes, I would love to look at this thing. Okay, so I was correct that Mindshell was fake out stuff. Um, that's interesting. Drain Punch, Blaze Kick, U Turn. Okay, that's weird. Um, Garbodor was red card. Drain Punch, Stopping Tantrum, Gunk Shot. So I'm glad I put it to sleep when I did. Otherwise, they would have max knuckled my T Tar, probably. Special Defense, Defense, and Attack. No HP bulk. I feel like you want to invest in HP on Garbodor. I feel like that's what it's good at. This is a G Max Grimstar. Yeah, no, this was, this was an issue. Um,. Yeah. <laughs> One of the signature moves of Grim Snarl is False Surrender. Um, you don't see it ever, but it's it's a move. Yeah, no, this is fine. Yeah, this gives you G-Max Snooze. Uh, I, I was expecting not Trick. I was expecting Gigantamax Grim Snarl with G-Max Snooze. And they went for Trick, which was weird. Yeah, this is an offensive Grimstar. This is cool. Um, I was correct. Sap Sipper um, Azumarill with Cell Battery. That's interesting, to say the least. Aqua, Wing, Aqua Ring, Brutal Swing, Play Rough, Aqua Jet. Um, surprised we're not huge power with all these physical moves and Aqua Ring. Volcarona, Lefties. Is this a bulky, like, Volcarona? It is. Yeah, it's just a defensive special attack Volcarona. Bug Buzz, Fiery Dance, Quiver Dance, and Giga Drain. Yeah. And then G Max Corviknight, Sharp Beak. Okay, whatever. Um, notably, they had Life Orb still to use. So it looks like they just didn't have the items that they needed. Um, that game we navigated really well. Um, I think that's actually going to be the last game. This video is going to probably be close to 30 minutes. Let's go back and look at this team here. Because... That was... Uh, this team is real clean. I like this team a lot. Uh, we didn't really get to use Cartano or Rotom or Comfe. We kind of just like stuck with T-Tar, Spectre, and Amoongus. But like... The, the Having those in the back was extra security. Um, the teams we played against weren't the greatest teams in the world, but they were, it was, it was good to know that, like, there's still people innovating on the ladder. Uh, I had no clue what Adino was doing <laughs> at that game. I had no idea what the Grims, what the, uh, Garbodor was going to do that game, um, that second game. Uh, thinking back, um, Grimstarls have used Trick twice now, uh, and it's, it's a big advocate here. Do not Dynamax turn one unless you know you can beat a Grim Snarl trick with the eject button or lacking tail or things like that. Do not it's just a proponent of just don't doing it. Don't do it. Save your Dynamax, save your power, save your trump card. Um T Tar, Spectre Moongus, those three been really great. Uh and then it's like I feel like Cartana or Rotom, like in the back one of those two, whichever one you want. 
Cartana's there if you need physicals. Rotom's there if you got a lot of water types, a lot of grass types you need to get through. Um, we didn't get to do the Comfy T-Tar thing. Um, I didn't I didn't even mention at the start, but Draining Kiss will proc your policy on T-Tar, and then you can just keep Flora Healing and Ally Switch and Trick Room if T-Tar is the slowest thing on the field. Um, but uh, it's, it's, a, it's a lead. There's a lead there that you can do that with, and it's very powerful. Um, I just like Amoongus better. Uh, it's just my thing. Um, I'd rather my opponents proc my weakness policy if they need to. But T-Tar on its own doesn't really need it. Um, the team felt very cohesive, very strong, had a lot of good answers for everything. Um, yeah, uh, good, good team, Adam. Good job. Uh, I think they played this to some tournament win as well. I'm not quite sure. I believe it was some kind of, there was some kind of grassroots tournament they won with this, which was, it was really cool. Yeah, this team is a blast. Uh, highly recommend using that rental code down there. Um, Get their get get Adam's team tested out. It's great. I enjoyed the, the heck out of it. Um, makes me wonder what I'm doing for Players Cup three, and it might be something. It might be this. It might be something similar to this. I'm not sure yet, but uh, definitely, definitely uh, take a look at this team and try it out. Highly recommend it. Um, make sure you subscribe. Uh, answer the question of the day: your favorite weather and your favorite weather setter. Um, make sure you ring the bell for notifications so you have. An, Notified when new videos go live. We put videos up every Tuesday, Thursday, uh, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Uh, Podcast is Monday. Laddering's Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. And then Carter's Let's Play is up on Sunday. Uh, which we're wrapping up this Let's Play here probably shortly in the next month or so. So uh, be on the lookout for that. Um, make sure you follow us on Twitch. Uh, I am twitch.tv forward slash musical. Uh, Carter is twitch.tv forward slash Mr. Missouri 25. Uh, we will be doing a special live uh, podcast episode today on, on my Twitch channel, uh, talking about Draft League and tips and tricks for our people because Draft League has officially started as of Monday. Uh, we had our first draft last night. Our second draft is tonight at like 7.30. Um, and then the other drafts are on Sunday. So I'm super excited to get that going. Uh, no spoilers on what the drafts look like. Uh, we're trying to keep them private for competitive integrity so no one gets any crazy ideas. Um, make sure you follow us on Twitter, uh, at our lessons for podcast information, videos, things like that. Uh, you can follow myself at musical underscore 33. I don't post on there very often, but if I do post, it's usually teams I've done really well with. It's more of a VGC, just like outlet. Uh, and then you can follow Carter at uh, Carter Noble 25 on Twitter. His is kind of the same. He doesn't tweet very often. A lot of retweets, a lot of just like getting information out there about VGC stuff. Um, Twitter, Twitch, YouTube. Oh, the Discord. Uh, there will be a Discord link down below. You can join the Discord uh, so you can get signed up for the next Draft League when it happens or the Rumble that is happening this Friday or any of our other events that we have going on. We've got a million things going on right now and it is just really, really busy time right now uh, on the server. Everyone's active and communicating very well and we've got a million things going on um so yeah if you want to come be a part of the community you can come join the discord um there's no entry there's no fee to pay no thing it's free uh you don't have to be active you can just lurk we have a hundred plus lurkers in there as well um but yeah i think i've rambled on here at the end very long too long enough uh make sure again subscribe want to hit 200 by our one year mark for youtube here which is in a couple months i'd love to hit 200 subscribers um and yeah, have a great rest of your morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you're out in the world. Make sure you play this team, and we will see you all on Saturday with either this team or maybe a new team. I've got a bunch more I've got to get through, and we'll see what happens. Bye, everyone.